Hello everybody, welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today I'm going to be explaining the mod PQ. I believe it's pronounced, if it's not, sorry. This mod allows you to manipulate a lot of things on Minecraft along with height, width, motion, which is speed, explosion, hitbox, eye level, all of the things which I'll show in the screenshot here, you can manipulate on any Minecraft mob, including yourself. The best part we've used this for my server is changing the horse height, which I have all of them in the background, and I'll be showing you how you can do that in your single player game. We do have a height system, which I'll explain in a moment, and this will allow me to explain the horse height and how we change them and show the command and everything like that. If you guys like these types of videos, make sure to show your love by subscribing and commenting. I already filmed this video, but I started editing it and I was like, why do I decide to film so early in the morning? I think I started filming at 8 a.m. You know when you send a voice message to a friend and you hear it and you're just like beatboxing, you're remixing everything? That's exactly how I sounded. So I'm refilming it. I already have all the things spawned. We also have a new steed update, so you'll see some new coats and everything. If you guys are looking for a cheap way to get Minecraft Java Edition, Instant Gaming does have this on their website. Feel free to use the link in my description and help me out. So let's get into the horse height before I start messing with other mob heights. Also really quickly, Esta, Lotus, Loki, and Riley have been working on jumps for the April map. Look at this, frog. It's Larry, Larry the frog. It's a whole filler, so there's more to it, but I don't know, Estelle just handed me Larry, so I am I just wanted to show Larry. So this coat is Rika by Lotus, and I'll try to be crediting each coat creator as I go by, but if I miss it, all of them will be in the description. This is the Swem Addendum, which is the add-on mod that is specific to my server and allows you to have extra coats. So we have a lot of extra ones, which I'll show. But this horse right here in specific is the normal horse height for Swem. So this right here is a normal Swem horse. Down the line means smaller, up the line means bigger. So we have four additional sizes which are bigger and three additional sizes which are smaller. So here's our current chart for hands. We're going by hands instead of decimals because it can be kind of confusing for horse people to come onto the server or non-horsey people and see decimals instead of numbers for measurement. Like I mean numbers by hands measurement and just not like 1.4, 1.3. So the normal height is one. So this horse would be one. This would be default no resize. And we're calling this 15 to 15.3 hands. And then all the way down here is where the list starts. I'm not gonna ask you not to, but just credit us if you use our systems for height. Thanks. 0.7 is also 12 to 12.3 hands. And this one cannot compete and cannot be ridden. If you look at it, the reason it can't compete and can't be ridden is because the regular Minecraft player size makes it very awkward and it also just isn't fit to the horse because this isn't Swem making this size difference, it is another mod. So same thing for this one, there's too much space so we decided to make this one unrideable and can't compete. So these two are kind of like pasture ornament sizes, so like Shetlands and small riding ponies. Maybe in the future we'll allow players to be resized in general so they can ride smaller horses, but yeah. the This one is... 0.8 or 13 to 13.3 hands and then this one is the next one up and this one is 0.9 or 14 to 14.3 hands and this one is rideable i have tack on it already this tack set was one of our most recent winners and it was put in the game this is the april flower set by london it is a really cute set it has a little flower for the middle of the breast collar so this one looks a little bit more natural this one in my opinion looks more like a pony than all of the others um it is one below the normal size for swim. Um, I've seen a couple of them competed already and they do look super cute, especially when they're right up against the biggest size, which we'll talk about over there. Sometimes I just see two people riding together and they're like one small horse, one big horse, you know? The next one, like I said, is the default and this one is 15 to 15.3 hands. This one is one up from a default, which is 1.1 or 16 to 16 three hands. And this one I feel like is a good start for warm blood or like a bigger quarter horse. What's funny is a lot of people did complain when Swem first came out that Swem horses are too big. They have like a big profile. But after seeing the biggest Swem horse on our list, I don't think that's true. I think this is small. These two are my favorite heights in general for horses because I'm taller IRL, so I need taller horses to actually ride. The next one is 1.2 and this one is 17 to 17.3 hands. And this one would be best as a thoroughbred or warm blood or small draft. It is one of my favorite heights in the game because it doesn't look too awkward. It doesn't look too oversized. Um, I feel like this one would be best for warm blood since it does look proportionate. This one is 
This one is where it starts to get slightly disproportionate. And then lastly, for the riding friendly, we have 1.3 or 18 to 18.2 hands. And this one is where we get into the draft or big warm blood area. And then the last one in general is 1.4 or 18.3 to 19.1 hands. This one is Goliath. So naturally I thought I'd make him the biggest horse. And this one can be ridden and be driven on carts and everything, but it can't be competed. So this one's best for just leisure riding or just pasture pet. Horses can be resized on my server just through an application, but they can only be resized once. So whether you're a pre-existing player or a new player, your horse can be resized. So how do you resize your swim horse? First of all, you need a swim horse. You're going to do swim horse tame. Make sure they're tame so you can hop on them. Actually, I'm going to lead this one and anchor it down. And then you're going to do this command. This one is scale set penku height, and then you'll put the height and then this command line. And also make sure the entity you are editing is right here. So I'm editing a swim horse, but if I were to like edit a, I don't know, a pig or like a bat or a bee, you would put that instead. I explained the height chart on how we did it, but if you want to make your own height chart, you can. I would say anything above 1.5 is too big for riding for horses. You can also do base and it just edits everything about them, but it also edits motion. So if you are a Minecraft server that values speed when you have competitors, I would not recommend setting base. I would just do height and width separately. So for example, you do, let's say 1.3 for size. Then you do height and then width after, and this would make it proportionate. Now there's other things that you can edit on here. I mean, there's attack, attack speed, base, which I just explained, block reach, defense, drops, entity reach, explosions, eye height. Um, there's all types of options you can try on here. So if you're somebody who wants to kind of manipulate your Minecraft world to your advantage, there are many, many commands that you can try. This is one of those mods that's just fun if you just test it out on your own single player world or server, you know, maybe kill a server while you're at it. I'm gonna go mess with some other mobs and you guys are going to watch. I won't be doing this for long. Most of the video was about horse heights, but I wanna go find some other mobs to mess with. Newt in. Come here, Newt Newt. Newt Newt. Uh, have I not tamed Newt in? I haven't tamed Newt in all this time. He's just untamable, guys. He can never be tamed. Newton is 353 years old. Newton, you're you're becoming an old man. Do 1.5. If you don't change the height to, this is what it'll look like. He's just, he looks like a Mario character. He looks a little thick, a little wide. Should we just leave him like this? Damn, boy, you thick. Oh, wow. Look at that. What a gentleman. Should we get Newton a girlfriend? I feel like Newton would murder his girlfriend. Newton, th she's only a year old. Okay, so this isn't Newton's girlfriend, this is Newton's friend for now, all right? Legally, this has to be your friend, Newton. Okay, you're 353 years old, she's a year old, okay? You're dust compared to her. Should we make a giant cow? Who are you, Shirley? Come here, Shirley. I hate how the genetic animals go into the corner of the pasture, so this is what my cows look like constantly. I have this big old pasture and they just sit in the corner. Okay, Shirley, we're gonna make you size two but we're not going to change the width she's just going to be really tall that is cursed that is actually cursed but every tall cow needs a wide cow so we're going to make crescent the same thing but wide oh my gosh even crescent's name tag is wide let's see who's online we don't have a lot of players online let's go bother estel i feel like estel's working right now what will i kill mobs if i walk over them no okay i just tested on my dogs imagine if it actually killed them i'd feel so bad Do I look like- Why are you so big? Calling me fat? Look at that. <laughs> Selfie. Look how cute the fillers are. Oh my gosh. I know this is for one of the maps, but oh, I love how cute they are. We have Ruby. Hi, Ruby. It's okay, guys. I'm easily hidden. They don't know I'm here. If I hide behind this jump. <laughs> you scared me. 
I will be leaving the mod link in the description. So if you want to try this out for yourself or put it on your own server, feel free to go check that out. If you guys have any other suggestions for mod reviews, feel free to suggest them in the comments because I know you guys always have good suggestions. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your day and you stay healthy and safe and hydrated. And I will see you in the next video or stream. A really quick reminder that I will be streaming a lot on Twitch from now on instead of just YouTube. So I'll be streaming on both platforms. Feel free to go find my Twitch. I'm excited to see you guys there. I'm excited to hang out with you guys. Goodbye.